Hi guys, welcome to the first part of this week's Coffee and Heroes show, the uh, What's New in This Week show. Uh, essentially taking you through the graphic novels that are new into the store, collected editions, that kind of thing. So it's just going to be a quick one this week. There's not an awful lot came in. Uh, there were quite a few things missing from our delivery in terms of graphic novels. Uh, so something tells me next week's show is going to be a bumper sized one, uh, as long as that stock comes, as well as I have placed quite a few orders for next week. So kick things off with what has arrived. Uh, first up, we have Siege. Uh, this was a Marvel event done by Abraham Michael Bendis and Olivier Coupel going back some time. Uh, this is essentially an arc that began in Avengers Disassembled, uh, extended through House of M, Civil War and Secret Evasion, and it finds its ending here. Next up we have Strange Academy Year 2. So uh, Strange Academy is a great title, great all ages title, and I mean that in the best possible way, not just for younger readers, but a great title all around. Uh, great art, um, really good storytelling, Scotty Young, Humberto Ramos on art, and this basically contains issues 13 to 18 as well as Strange Academy Finals 1 to 6. Next up is one I actually saw on Twitter, and I checked if Diamond had it in stock, and they did. This is something that has actually passed me by, but I've got a copy of it for myself. The main reason for that is that Bill Quee Evely is the artist on it, uh, who of course did such a great job in Supergirl, uh, Woman of Tomorrow. It's written by Keith Giffen, of course an industry legend as well. Just sounds really, really good. Sugar and Spike Private Investigations, Metahumans, a speciality. So we set the DC Universe. I'm looking forward to tucking into that myself. Uh, we have another volume in this week of Saga of the Swamp Thing. Again, I'm still waiting on volume one. Uh, but there you go. But volume two did come in, and hopefully volume one won't be far behind next week. Next up is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Necessary Evil, part one. So Ram Parrot continuing on from where uh, Kyle Higgins left off. This collects Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 40 to 45 and Google Go Power Rangers vol uh, issues 21 to 26. A uh, new volume of The Flash this week as well. This is The One Minute War. Uh, this is sort of going towards the end of Jeremy Adams' run, uh, which uh, predominantly looks at Wally West. Uh, this is the volume which contains issues 790 to 796 and The Flash One Minute War special. Uh, topping up some great uh, classics as well, we have volumes of Sandman back in stock, so volume 1 this week and also volume 2, so that now means volumes 1 to 6 are on the shelves. Uh, I'd mentioned last week we got in the Massive uh, omnibus volume 1, so this week I got volume 2 in, so again this means that the whole story is here and something I'm a big, big fan of right there. Uh, and then a couple of hard covers to finish off with. First of all, we have the Watchman Companion. Uh, I saw this online as well, and this is essentially building out the Watchman universe. But this was done back in the 80s, back with Alan Moore's Blessing and Cooperation. So they were long out of, out of print books. Uh, the Moore Sanction prequel come to life in the form of two game modules, Watchman Watching the Watchman and Watchman Taking Out the Trash, along with the extensive Watchman source book, which incorporated new mythology and adventures alongside art from series artist David Gibbons. So I've got a copy of that for myself as well. Looking forward to tucking in. Uh, back in stock is Deadly Class, volume one, hardcover. So we had two, three, and four on the shelves over there. Now number one is back in stock. So you know very well, one of my favorite comics of all time. And then we finish off with once again, getting Invincible uh, 20th anniversary compendium hardcovers back in stock. So volume one's in stock, volume two's in stock, volume three's on back order, hopefully be in within the next few weeks. So yeah, that's pretty much it. As I say, we did have other stuff we were waiting on, but again, it hasn't arrived. So hopefully it arrives next week and I can take you through all of that then. Uh, but do check back later and we will certainly put up the uh, single issues new out this week. Lots of great stuff. Again, some titles that were delayed from last week, meaning it's quite a bumper week as well. But anyway, hope this proved useful as ever. Um, if you have any pre-orders you want to get in, there's the boards all due this week. Um, if you want to send anything off to CGC, we're sending off at the end of this month. So just to throw that out there as well. But anyway, hope you're staying safe out there. Hope this proved uh, useful and uh, I'll check back in later.